an RV update has been requested so here we are today I'm gonna to show you guys all that we've done with the RV so far and our renovation and then I'm also going to be continuing the renovation a little bit today and starting to paint the bedroom slash bathroom area because that we have not touched yet we've only done the living room area so if you are new to my channel welcome my name is Michelle and I am a teacher and I create lifestyle content I create teaching content and all kinds of content here on my channel and I would love for you to join this little community on YouTube. It is a positive community. It's a great community. Definitely subscribe. Right now I am living in an RV because we have seven acres of land that we are getting ready to put a house on. So instead of renting or anything like that, we decided an RV was a better option for us. And we plan to sell this RV once we were all settled on our land. When we got the RV, it was a wonderful RV, 32 feet, really great, felt like a mini apartment. Seriously couldn't believe that people camp in this. However, it was very outdated. There was ugly wallpaper on the walls. I will try to insert like before photos of the kitchen area. Really dark and gloomy. When I saw this RV, I knew immediately that it had so much potential it just needed a little facelift and so that is basically what we did we also decided that the carpet had to go at least in the living room area because that's where we're gonna be coming and going and with pets and with where we were putting it it's gonna be muddy and so I knew carpet was not gonna work and so we put in new flooring we've done a lot of painting to it and a little tiny bit decorating I mean there's really only so much decorating you can do in such a small space so I've limited it to a few things here and there and then mostly plain plants honestly another reason that we're not going like gung-ho like if this was gonna be my RV forever I have so many different ideas I could have done and really went all out but because we're not going to be in here permanently like we're not gonna be full-time RV living our whole life um, I wanted to kind of limit it because we are selling it and you don't want to put that much money into a place that you're not gonna be forever. So the first part of this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you what we've done already, and then we're gonna get into the bedroom and into the bathroom area, and I'm going to share with you what I'm going to be doing for the next part of the RV reno. Right now, I'm in the living room slash kitchen area. This is where we are most of the time, and this is where we dove in first with the RV renovations. So here is the main living area. This is our little kitchen table. It did come with four chairs, but we have two in storage just because we didn't need them and we wanted the space instead because we are storing some stuff back there. We painted the walls, we painted underneath everything white, and then we painted the upper cabinets all white. We painted the freezer and the fridge white because this was like a wood material. Um, and then the bottom cabinets, we painted this kind of like bluish light gray. Actually, I intended this to be a warm darker gray, but it turned out like this and I actually really like it. I'm glad we didn't go dark because I feel like then it would have just made the whole area a little bit darker and right now it's so bright. These are the original countertops. I didn't want to mess with that. Original sink. Also didn't want to mess with that. I see a lot of people who do flip these um, in RVs, but since I didn't want to shell out that much money since we are selling it, we just kept the same and honestly it goes really well so there was really no need. This little wreath is a nice little touch just right into the center of the kitchen. I got that from Walmart. We do have a lot of plants in here. I have a lot more that I couldn't fit sadly, but I tried to bring as many smaller plants as I could just to make it feel fresh and really like open and airy. Then we have our little tiny um, stove top and this little tray so that we can store things on top and then just kind of lift this tray and we move it. And then what's nice about RV stoves is this folds up. So you can use the space above it really easily. This section in the dining table actually slides under, but we leave it open all the time to have more space. This section actually lifts, should, yeah, lift up. We don't have much in there though, kind of just like our junk drawer. Over here I have another plant. This is my, I think it's the Chinese money tree, um, but it's definitely struggling. I just put fertilizer in it, but like these leaves, I don't know if you guys know anything about this plant. I think he just needs fertilizer, he needs a new pot, and he needs more sun. Uh, that's what my guess is. But this is like our little coffee and tea um, cart. I think I had this in my classroom forever ago, but I brought it here and it fits right nicely in there for like our tea and coffee and stuff like that. So this is the flooring that we put in. We ripped up the whole carpet in this whole area. There's Felix. Um, but we left this carpet here just because that's the slide out. So basically this whole section 
is our slide out that we keep slid out the whole time. You can replace the slide out floor into like the sticky tile floors but it it is a challenge because it's up like a level then so we just decided to keep the carpet that way it kind of slides right back onto the floor that we put on and these were just sticky panels like long sticky panels that we placed on there and um the hardest part was just getting it you know around the edges but other than that it was a pretty easy process then over here we have a baby gate i got this gate from home goods it is so unique and so pretty. I am so excited that I found this. I plan to take it with us. I absolutely love it. It's wood and just the detailing on that, really, really pretty. So we have that up for Dixie because then she can come in and it stops her and then we can like wipe her paws and everything over here. So this is like our entryway that we made. There used to be a chair here and so we ripped that out and we got a shelf for like all of our boots and our shoes. Um, like a little entryway table <laughs> Lysol because coronavirus. And we have our thermostat, keys, and stuff like that. I put up this cute little sign I got from Walmart also. It says, less house, more home. I thought it was so appropriate for this. Little farm to table bag here just for when we need to carry stuff. These baskets I had produce in at our rental home. And instead of produce, I knew we needed something at the entryway for like gloves and hats and our mail and so that is where we keep all of that. Then this is where our TV sits and down here is our coats and there is a um, door that goes here but we figured it would get in the way of putting our coats in and out so we just left it off for now. We painted all of these cabinets white as well which makes it so bright in here. This is just like our pantry area basically. Uh, we have all of our food and stuff in here, some pet stuff in there um, and then we also even painted this. I don't know if you are familiar with old RVs, not even super old, but like in the 80s or so, they have fabric, um, this like gross fabric. I can show you another room because we haven't painted it yet, but it goes around the whole thing. I would have loved, you guys, I would have loved to rip that out and put big wooden beams. How pretty would that have been? I've seen it done online on Pinterest, but again, not worth it for selling it. So we just painted it and it worked. Like it's, they made it hard now, it's not fabric and it looks good. This thing above the door was the same thing, and now it's like super hard, and you can't even really tell. I mean, it just blends into the wall. The other thing we did is we took off all of the hardware, um, the hinges, and then these handles, and we spray painted them with this like bronze black metal spray paint so that they would stand out and be nice and black. This is our couch, which of course is gonna stay here um, when we sell it. And so we're just trying to honestly protect it right now. I really wanna get a slip cover for it so that it looks a little bit nicer. But for now, we just have like a bunch of blankets on there to protect it from Dixie and everything. This is actually a heated blanket um, that we have on there. But I love the windows and the cats like to lay right there, which is nice. I always have fresh flowers in here because I think it just brightens up the place and makes it more homey. There's Felix, always looking out the window, aren't ya? You love the big windows in here. And then something I'm still working on is doing these curtains. I've only done one so far. I cut the fabric for all of them, but I've only sewn and put up one. So this is just like a muslin cotton and I just sized them to the windows because you can see like all the windows are different weird random sizes. So I had to customize it, especially because we're selling it though and we ripped out all of the existing like, I don't even know what to call them. They were so ugly. It was like this big fabric chunky thing across the window and then had blinds coming down. So we ripped them out and we don't want to sell it without having any privacy. So I'm going to put these in throughout the whole place. And this is a bamboo rod. I tied it to hooks. These are just these little clips and it works great. Now that you've seen all of this living area, let's go into the bedroom. There is a light that comes from the ceiling, which brings in more light. But what really blocks the light is these ugly brown walls that I am going to start painting. We already took all of the cabinet doors off, so I don't need to do that. But um, literally just everything needs painted. The bottom cabinet, the top the walls this is what I mean guys like that is what everything was in the kitchen so you can see how much nicer it looks when it's white this has carpet in it we're gonna keep the carpet in here I have stacked two storage units here just to try to get the most storage possible and I have a little wedding photo up there a plant more storage unit there and then the cabinets of course are off on those two this one doesn't have a cabinet 
This is a little hack if you need a shelf divider. Um, we could just build a shelf and I almost want to build shelves for in there. But if you don't, you can get these little tiny tension rods and stick them in there and just stick a basket on top. This is like all of our tech computer stuff we store in here. This is Remy chilling on the laundry basket. I threw this on here just so I could get out of the living room so I could show you guys the living room better. But, you know, he decided he was going to sit on his throne, his throne bed today. This is our closet. I love that swoop there. I think that's so pretty. So this is what I was talking about with the wood, um, or not the wood, with the fabric. Like it was this color in the kitchen and then we just painted the whole thing white. So I think I'm just going to do the same thing in here and it'll brighten it right up. This is the bathroom. We also have our vacuum in here because space, but I wanted to come in here and show you this was throughout the whole living room the whole kitchen is this like wallpaper strip i wanted to start painting so long ago it's already two o'clock my husband's coming home soon so what i'm going to do is next time you see me it's going to be tomorrow i'm going to be in my painting clothes ready to go and we will start painting the second half of this rv all right, it is the next day. It is Friday. I am in painting clothes and I'm about to go into the bedroom and start painting. I'm thinking actually I need to clear some things out um, and get set up before I start, but that is the plan. I have been drinking quite a lot of coffee and I am late, well, I'm later than I wanted to be. It is currently, <laughs> it's currently 11. I woke up at 5.30. I've been waking up 5.30 every day this week, even though I'm not working. I got ready and everything, and then starting at like 6.30, I watched TikToks for a very long time. I'm currently obsessed with TikTok. I never thought I would be, but I am. I'm so sucked in. They're just so fun and like carefree, and I feel like they're just silly. I really want to try to convince my husband to film some TikTok videos with me. Like the ones made for couples or like the challenges. I don't know how he'll feel about it, but you might you might see some TikToks coming. I can't promise you, because I never tried to film them before, but it would be funny. Let me take you and show you what kind of paint we're using. If, I don't know if you stumbled upon this because you're doing something similar or you're just curious, I will show you what I'm using. So I read up a lot on RVs and how to paint them because of the like, I don't even know what kind of um, walls they even have. It's like this vinyl, I think. Whatever it is, it needs an oil primer. The, <laughs> my cat's playing with a ball. Uh, the oil will seep in and like seal into the existing walls. If you would just do a regular like water-based, um, paint on top, even though this is paint and primer, it won't last as long apparently like this you need to have so that the oil like seeps into the walls Remy, what are you doing what's this what's that
like that. It is now Saturday morning. I wanted to hop on and show you the progress that I made yesterday on the things that you saw me working on. I am going to continue working on the bedroom throughout the rest of the week and hopefully paint everything else that you saw when I showed you around. But for the most part, I got the kind of like sink area completed. I do have to put the cabinet fronts back on and install them and paint them, um, but then that's really it. So let's flip you around and give you a little completed tour of what you saw me working on. All right, so I painted this whole area, the top part of that, and then this wall area here. I did end up painting this door. It wasn't part of my plan, but um, I just thought it would look a little nicer than leaving it all wood. And I put my hooks back on here. I did paint the other side of the door as well and I put all of my bathroom storage back on which I also was able to then organize all of that kind of stuff too which was nice. Then the sink area you guys saw me working on this but um, it's just oh my gosh it's already so much brighter and I don't even have this front on yet like I said but it's still brighter and even when we showered last night when the light reflects off of this wall and bounces back even my shower last night was brighter so it's definitely a step in the right direction for sure so that's the extent of the work i did it took like i don't know three hours or something um i had to do you know primer and then like one to two coats of the regular paint i do think i need to touch up some areas you probably can't see on the camera but like right around that light i couldn't go over it with the roller so i think i need an extra little coat right there but already looking better look at my cute little i love this thing it says i just want to be a stay-at-home dog mom don't we all i'm gonna wrap up this video i hope you guys enjoyed getting a little update on the rv and the progress that i'm making if you ever want even more in depth about the rv and just what we're doing with our life and, and the house and getting it built and all that stuff you can always subscribe to my second channel which i have with my husband and we have a lot of fun over there it's called the very mountain homestead it's always linked in the description box um, but i can put a card for you as well so you can go over there and subscribe and see that part of my life too i hope you guys are well and healthy and are enjoying this time with family and i will catch you guys in my next video bye